Hi everybody, this is a video of the SL Prismatic Fluorescent Bulb, the Clear Incandescent GLS Bulb, the Self Ballasted Mercury Bulb and the Metal Halide Bulb. As you can see, all these four are all in the line. Um, as I put the Clear GLS Bulb in, so it'll match with the Clear Metal Halide Bulb. So, as you can see, they're both clear and uh, like the Prismatic one, but the Self Ballasted Mercury Bulb's frosted. So, as you can see, they're all uh, connected in to the extension, into the socket, ready to fire up in one second or two, everybody. So, um, as you can see, all them four, they'll be ready to fire up. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, turn off the, I'm going to turn off this, this big light now. So, so as you can see now, uh, onto the, uh, the four light bulbs, everybody. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Wow! As you can see now, all these uh, three of a uh, full, as uh, these two have uh, reached the full brightness, but the metal halide bulbs uh, uh, just come on. But it's just quite dim. But it'll start. It's very twinkly. It's like a halogen bulb. Yep, that's right. And as you can see, the the self ballasted mercury bulbs are uh, uh, kicked in. So and uh, the clear GLS light bulb, that 150 watt one, it's a status one, and the prismatic one, it's the Philips one. That's uh, fully come on. So as you can see now, they've all reached the full brightness. Let's take a good look at this uh, metal halide bulb. As you can see, it's looking like bluish green. It's like very minty color. From my eyes, it's looking more uh, like a very pale jade white color. Yeah. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's, uh, reach, it's reaching its full brightness. It's twinkling like a star. Yeah. It, when I looked at it from my eyes, it looks very twinkly. It's glaring. Yeah. So. As you can see, it's a bit like, well, look at these two, it's like a star and the sun. Yeah, the, the self-ballasted mercury bulb's more like a star. And, well, yeah, the self-ballasted mercury bulb's like the sun. And the metal halide bulb's like the star. So it's like star and sun. But maybe I could say the prismatic bulb's like the moon when I look at it that way. So, and this uh, uh, 150 watt clear GLS light bulb. Um, 240 volts, that's what it says, 150 watts, 15L, that's what it says, and in the little circle it's got that R, it says register. Yeah, so, as you can see now, let's sit back down, let's have a, take a good look up on the ceiling, look all around my room and everywhere. Yep, as you can see now, it's lit my breakfast tea table, and all my fruit, and especially bana my bananas, bananas in pyjamas. As you can see now, it looks like these are these two clear ones are more twinklier because they're clear. These two are not twinkly because they're well because they're kind of frosted. Well, the the self ballasted mercury bulb's frosted, but the prismatic bulb because it's got uh, the tube inside is is frosted, but the outer glass is clear. So that's why it's called prismatic. And as you can see, it's got SL twenty five. Yep, SL twenty five, tw uh, twenty five watts slash two hundred forty volts slash 50 hertz yep that's right so so let's take a good look into these uh, these two as you can see now the 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 metal halide bulbs reached its full brightness twinkles like a star but it's has only got 4200 well 4200 kelvin i usually say kilowatts and there's my breakfast tea table let's take a good look into this high pressure uh, high pressure mercury bulb but it's self ballasted but as you can see now the 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 mercury arc tubes fully reached its full brightness and uh, the the clear gls bulb and the prismatic bulb yep yeah, that's right as you can see um i'm going to uh, sit back down and as you can see now oh god when i look at that metal halide bulb it's twinkling like shiny like a star it's like crystal yeah so they're all the fully reached all them four have reached their full brightness to their highest wattage ever. So anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, turn it off and turn it back on. So here we go. Right, as you can see now, the 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 metal halide bulbs fully um, is fully fading away a bit more quickly. That's quickly than the high pressure sodium bulb. So anyway, guys, I'm going to um, uh, switch it back on. So here we go, guys. Right, that's it now. The the prismatic bulb just flashed on. So all there is now is just the the incandescent light bulb and the fluorescent bulb just lit now. But these two 
are fully stocked off. But we'll see which one comes on first. I assume the the metal halide bulb might come on first before the before the mercury bulb does. All there is now is just got incandescent and fluorescent uh, lit up, but these two have gone out. But they'll fully light up. I can hear now is that igniter buzzing on the floor. There it is, it's just on the floor. You know, it's cluttered with wires. That's it, I can just hear it now. Right, we'll just watch, see which one comes on first. Oh, looks like the, the metal halide bulb's starting to uh, strike up now. It's like a bit of a lightning bolt inside. Oh, it is, it's starting to uh, re-strike up again. But like the uh, high pressure sodium bulb just comes back on instantly. Oh, hey, oh, the uh, the the metal halide bulb's just fully uh, kicked back in. So as you can see now, it's uh, fully lit back up. Oh, is that the self ballasted mercury bulb flashing yet? Oh, it's not doing out just yet. But the metal halide bulb's just uh, uh, coming twinkling green, isn't it? Yeah. So, oh, as you can see. Oh yeah, it's going brighter, brighter, brighter and brighter. Oh, is the South Ballast Mercury Bulb doing out just yet? Oh, looks like that's uh, reached its full brightness, so we'll just wait for this South Ballast Mercury Bulb to uh, light up. So, it's not doing out just yet, but we'll just... Oh, here we go, the, the South Ballast Mercury Bulb starting to... Uh, Come on now, I'm just going to wait for that to come on now, just like what the metal halide bulb did, but all there is now, it's just the, just the self out. oh, here we go, it's starting to come on now. It's just taking its time though, it's kind of struggling a bit, isn't it? But, as you can see, oh, the, the filament's starting to come on now, it's like a lightning bolt, grease lightning, oh, here we go. Hey, as you can see now, the the uh, the self ballasted mercury bulbs just come back on now. So let's take a good glimpse into this one now. So as you can see now, the filaments just kicked back in. It's quite the same size as that um, 150 watt one in that in that un that incandescent light bulb. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't speak my words out properly. But as you can see, that it's got it's got like lots of fingerprints on it. Let's look at it that way. Yeah, so as you can see, but and to the self ballasted mercury the, the metal halide bulbs fully brightened up now so so we've got full brightnesses except the mercury out tube but let's take a look at this prismatic fluorescent bulb yep i thought i'd use the the funnel shaped one i thought because that one's like between the black base and that white base in the egg cup shape that's what made between um late 80s and early 90s so as you can see yep Let's look at it that way so so as you can see now let's take a good glimpse into this uh self balancing was oh the mercury out tubes fully uh, flaring up now so so let's sit back down and have a look at these two now so as you can see there's a lit my breakfast tea table so oh that oh twinkling like a star yeah, it looks like that twin, that sh that um, wishing star off Pinocchio. When I look at it, yeah, I can see that reflection of that filament coming from that 150 watt incandescent bulb. You can see that more clearly than the pearl one. Yeah, so as you can see now, it's very nice. It looks very pretty. That that metal halide bulb. The metal halide bulb's more um, uh, pretty. If it was clear and not frosted, it's not as twinkly when it's frosted, but if it's clear, it's a lot more to it. It's twice as twinkly. Yeah. But as you can see now, it looks like the fully reached the brightness. So let's take a, another last glimpse into this uh, self ballasted mercury vapor light bulb. As you can see now, the uh, the mercury out tubes uh, reached its full brightness now. It's all at 160 watts now. So as you can see now, it's uh, it's reached its full brightness. Yeah. The, the metal halide bulb, the self-ballasted mercury bulb, 
the incandescent bulb and the fluorescent bulb, the prismatic one I usually say. See them more clearly. Oh God, I like the look looking at this uh, clear bulb, that 151, that's a uh, twinkling bright. It's all these, that's a C shape, yeah. So let's take one last glimpse into the self ballasted one. Yep, that's it now, it's reached its full brightness. That's right, so that's it now. They've all uh, reached the full brightness now, everybody. So the metal halide one and, and all them four, they've all reached to their highest wattage ever. So, right, anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, switch this. Uh, I'm going to turn them out now. So, right, that's it now. They've, uh, they've fully gone out now. So onto this uh, big lamp now. Right, that's it now. The the big lamp's back on now. So, so this is the video of the um, SL prismatic fluorescent bulb, uh, the clear incandescent GLS bulb, uh, the self ballasted mercury bulb, and the metal halide clear bulb. Everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody.